is all tangled up in his sheets, tossing and turning and fretting about that bag of gold on their kitchen table. Finally, he knew he wasn't going to get a lick of sleep, and he couldn't take it anymore. He got up. He put on his best pair of breeches, his Sunday go to meeting shirt, and his old farm boots, because that's what he had, and then he headed into town. He'd heard tell that that magistrate just down from St. Louis was pretty smart. People all over the county were saying so, and he figured the magistrate would know what to do with this bag of coins. And so that's how he found himself on the magistrate's doorstep a little before the sun rose. And here comes the magistrate finally stumbling toward the door, tucking his shirt into his britches. Who are you? He said when he opened the door. And what are you doing on my porch at this ungodly hour? Well, Paul said, I, I'm... Uh, I brung you this bag of gold coins that my daughter found out in the middle of the road. Gold coins. Ah, oh. so where's the other two bags? I don't know anything about any other two bags. This is all we got. He said, well, bank was robbed yesterday afternoon and three bags were stolen. I need those other two bags. In fact, if you don't give me those other two bags, I'm going to put you in jail. Why would you do that? He said, you obviously know something about that bank robbery or you wouldn't have this bag of gold. And Paul just started shaking his head. I should have listened to Mara, he said inside his head. I should have listened to her. Now look at the trouble we're in. Hello and welcome to Kansas City Fringe Festival 2020. My name is Jamie Mayo and I am a storyteller here with a new set of stories for you this year called Clever Enough for Her Own Good. Two of them are traditional tales that I have adapted, and one is a personal story, and they're all about women who are clever enough for their own good.